to Immortal Revolution APN. So look general doing to me. Thank <laughs> you. 
You're listening to a VOK Voice of Korea News Now. The large combined units of the Korean People's Army conducted an artillery firing drill at the time when the high fighting spirit of the entire army has been boosted day by day to dynamically usher in a new heyday of fostering up the military capability for self defense. In Jong Un, General Secretary of the Workers' Party of Korea and President of the State of Fast of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, guided the artillery firing drill of the large combined units of the Korean People's Army on March the 7th. Accompanying him was Park Jong Chun, Secretary of the Central Committee of the Workers' Party of Korea and Vice Chairman of the Central Military Commission of the Workers' Party of Korea. The respected comrade Kim Jong Un was greeted at the training ground by Kang Sung Nam, Minister of National Defense of the DKK, Lee Young Gil, Chief of the General Staff of the Korean People's Army, and commanders of the large combined units of the army. The drill was aimed at increasing the combat readiness posture and actual work capability of artillery men by inspecting and evaluating the firepower strike capability of the artillery units under the large combined units of the Korean People's Army in the way of power demonstration and competition. The drill started with the power demonstration firing of the long range artillery subunits near the border to have put the enemy's capture in their striking range and are fulfilling important military missions for world currents. The artillery subunits selected from the large combined units were to take the firing positions according to the order of firing set by lot and fire at the targets and then to be ranked by summing up the number of hits and the time taken for fulfilling their firepower missions. The artillery men who had the honor of conducting the drill under the guidance of Kim Jong-un were filled with the urban desire to fully display the fighting efficiency which they have developed as the world's strongest branch of the army of which everybody else is afraid under the guidance of the great brilliant commander who clarified the unique outlook on attaching importance to the artillery and the philosophy of the artillery and continues devoting his great efforts to developing the future-based artillery force. Kim Jong-un mounted the observation post and was briefed on the plan for the drill and guided the drill. In the drill, the commanders of the large combined units of the Korean People's Army took charge of fire control of the artillery subunits of their units and decided on the method of firing artillery pieces according to the determination. The moment the commanders gave the order to fire, the artillery men opened fire. The valiant artillery men involved in the drill fully displayed their rapid and accurate marksmanship they have steadily refined in the days of actual war drills for the mobilization of artillery men for war, always aware of their mission for defending the country, and thus strikingly demonstrated the high combat capability of the all right artillery men prepared as a match for the hundred fighters. Kim Jong-un expressed his great satisfaction over the fact that all the artillery subunits involved in the drill are fully ready for constant mobilization for battle. He personally went to the firing position and warmly congratulated the brave artillery combatants who fully displayed the might of the Korean People's Army and the honor of a match for a hundred artillery men. He stressed the need to train all the artillery men of the whole army into experts in artillery engagements and a match for a hundred crack gunners by further boosting their enthusiasm for training and emulation and thus prepare them to rapidly and accurately fulfill any combat mission assigned to them in actual battle as in the present year and thus first important tasks for rounding off the artillery war preparations. He said that it is necessary to push forward more vigorously the work from making preparations for regular combat mobilization so that all the artillery subunits can take the initiative with most recent rapid strikes at the moment of their entry into actual war and organize more effectively the actual drill for remarkably increasing the combat capability of the artillery men with realistic and scientific training goals in visiting different situations and thus continue to increase the might of the artillery the pride and core of the Korean People's Army in every way. On receiving his great trust and important instructions, the commanding officers of the Korean People's Army and all the artillery combatants who took part in the drill were filled with a strong will and revolutionary enthusiasm to bring about the great innovation in this whole struggle 
free peace of the conduct efficiency without fear by making strenuous efforts for the New Year's training, renewing their faith in the party's policy on effecting a revolution in training and its idea of attaching importance to the artillery. Kim Jong-un, General Secretary of the Workers' Party of Korea, in person has requested the support of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea in spite of the major operational training fights of the Korean People's Army in the Western area on March 6th to make rounds of the training facilities and by the action maneuvers of units. Accompanying him with Park jong Chen, Secretary of the Central Committee of the Workers' Party of Korea, and Vice Chairman of the Central Military Commission of the Workers' Party of Korea. The respective comrade, Kim Jong-un, was greeted on the site by the Commission Nam, Minister of National Defense of the DJRK, Lee Yong Jin, Chief of the General Staff of the Korean People's Army, the Deputy Chief of the General Staff of the Korean People's Army, the Director of the Combat Training Department, Commanders of Units for Major Missions, and other Commanding Officers of the Korean People's Army. He learned in detail about the facilities and training grounds on the base. He appreciated the fact that all the elements have been built in a practical way so that various training can be conducted in high intensity in an actual war atmosphere through the important military policy oriented task that was by the party central committee before the army. In his chance and need to make positive use of them, the rest will practically contribute to strengthening the combat capability of the people's army, further consolidate the material and technical foundation, and properly conduct the maintenance work for them. They mounted the observation post and received the report on the program for actual maneuvers of the unit planned that day before guarding the drill. Taking part in the drill were combat units at all levels the captured a group of plane. In the drill, the valiant combatants who have altered natural strength with their unskilled threat in regular training or chasing the combat capability, being bound of their role to their naval mission of defending the security of the country and the people, fully display their actual war capability in a full readiness to fight and surely defeat the enemy, taking the end of their unit. Expressing his great satisfaction over the training of civic persons, Kim Jong un highly praised the strong revolutionary spirit and the indomitable fighting spirit of the combatants who are keeping their perfect battle readiness. Saying that he felt very glad and inspired to see the soldiers display the full, the great stamina of a service fighter in the training environment, little different from actual war, he encouraged the civic persons. While fulfilling their duty, always did better sales in their minds with other patriotism. Stressing the need for the Korean People's Army to further intensify training at present, the task force important help for intensifying practical action work threats to ensure victory in war. To contain the counter threats of the enemy with a well resource, successfully control even their slightest return to the night of war, and correctly carry out the important mission in contingency, our army should always make more existing nerve in itself in keeping with the aspects of changing and developing modern warfare and steadily intensify actual warfare aimed at rapidly improving its combat capabilities for perfect war preparedness to fight and exploring their needs for the units at all levels of the entire army to dynamically usher in a new way of intensifying war preparations in line with the requirements of the prevailing situation. The country is secure and its peace of security is extended and the happiness is created thanks to our army, the German defender and servant of the people that dashes forward in the van of the taking charge of both national defense and socialist construction of the set, adding that our army should continue to reliably play the leading role in our great era, bearing back in mind the trust and expectation of the party and the people. That day, he had a photo session with the dependable combatants who personally demonstrated a match for 100 party efficiency in the trail with their strong will and courage. Commanding officers and all the combatants of the Korean People's Army pledged their intense loyalty to Kim Jong un who guided their training and gave them great trust, encouragement, and matchless courage and trust, and hardened their resolve to fully discharge the honorable duty as the army of the party of the people in the sacred struggle for the security of the country and happiness of the people.
The next time to the council was held at the People's Palace of Culture in Pyongyang on the 7th to so have a deep understanding of the validity and the originally significance of the regional development 20 times 10 policy presented by the Workers' Party of Korea. Present day were part and administrative workers and officials of the working people's organizations at the Central River and in Pyongyang City, and theoretical propaganda officials of the armed forces urban and party official training institutions, as well as in the fields of science, education, literature and art, the press, and the diverse and relics preservation. At the symposium, Lee Yu-Hwan, Secretary of the Central Committee of the Workers' Party of Korea, Kim Kwang hyo Vice Minister of National Defense, Kim Lian Chul, Chief Secretary of the Kim Ha County Party Committee of Gangnam Province, and Dr. Chung Wu, Vice Premier of the Cabinet, and chairman of the State Planning Commission made public papers which profoundly explained and proved the validity and the evolutionary significance of the new policy for regional industry development and the theoretical and practical issues arising in its perfect implementation. The 12th enlarged preliminary meeting of the 10th Central Committee of the Socialist Patriotic Youth League was held on the 7th. Present day were members and alternate members of the Central Committee of the Youth League. Also in hand as observers were officials of the Central Committee of the Youth League and its committees of the ministries and national agencies and its provincial, city and county committees. The meeting discussed the issue on thoroughly implementing the regional development 20 times 10 parts of the Workers' Party of Korea. Vice Chairman of the Central Committee of the Socialist Patriotic Youth League, in his report, said the regional development 20 times 10 policy is an immortal program and the most revolutionary, popular, and scientific policy which can be presented only by the Workers' Party of Korea regarding the laughter and happiness of the people as a symbol of the socialist system and a yardstick deciding the creation of a powerful country. He stressed that all the youth league officials and members should perform the honorable mission and duty of the socialist patriotic rules on the sacred road of March for glorifying a great new history when the reasons are changed according to the bright blueprint and fully by the party central committee. Speeches were made at the meeting. A draft resolution was tied and discussed, and on its basis, a relevant resolution overtakes. Officials and workers of different fields and units of the national economy are making continued innovations and advance onwards in the spirit of having successfully carried out their February assignments under the National Economic Plan. Workers in the field of metallurgical industry are making successes in the iron and steel production. Workers and technicians of Kintech Iron and Steel Complex are steadily improving the operating technology of the new oxygen blast furnace and raising the working rate of the equipment boosting the future iron production. The Hwanghe Iron and Steel Complex, the Busan Mining Complex, the Hunan Electrode Factory, and different other units have worked about good results in carrying out their February assignments while directing main efforts to the workers' mental enforcement. Officials and workers in the field of chemical industry are making substantial progress in the production. Workers and technicians of the Namang Youth Chemical Complex and the Hunan Fertilizer Complex are carrying out their daily assignments while exploring exact ways to increase the actual extract rate. Thermal and hydraulic power stations across the country, including the Bukchang Thermal Power Complex and the Supong Power Station, are raising a struggle to boost the production. The number of units in the fields of coal, mining, building materials, and light industries are working harder and harder in the same spirit as having fulfilled the February assignments and the National Economic Plan with success. The Pyongyang City Tourist Souvenir Exhibition 2024 goes on at the Pit Pyongyang Underground Shop every day from March the 5th. The exhibition was aimed at developing and producing a greater number of tourist souvenirs with a world competitive edge and thus making a contribution to the economic development and the improvement of the people's living. This part of the exhibition on more than 20,000 commodities of over 720 claims presented by upwards of 190 units in the city. The exhibition serves as a significant occasion of actively exchanging and sharing the site's successes and good experiences made in the expansion of variety of the tourist souvenirs, the improvement of their quality and their production.
but in logic meeting of the Asia Pacific Regional Committee for French and Solidarity with the Korean people was held through a video conferencing on February 28. Present there were the co-chairpersons, the directors of the Secretariat, and the Public Information Office, and other members of the Regional Committee and personages of the organizations for French and Solidarity with the Korean people and the two Chinese party organizations in different countries, including Russia, Nepal, Australia, Germany, and Peru. The meeting discussed the organizational composition of the Regional Committee and the orientation of its activities. Speeches were made. The meeting adopted an action program. The action program said we will correctly introduce and publicize the reality of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, winning victory after victory under the guidance of the great leaders, holding high the banner of independence and justice, and conduct positive activities for promoting friendship with the Korean people. We noted that they will conduct risk solidarity activities to support the just cause of the Korean people for firmly defending the sovereignty and right to development and peace and stability of the Korean Peninsula and the region and give an active support and encouragement to the part of the DPRK for building a powerful country. The World Youth Festival came to a close in Sochi of Russia on the 6th. The closing ceremony held at the Porsche Ice Rink was attended by the youth delegation of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea and other youth delegates and honorary guests from over 180 countries, including Russia, China, and Vietnam. Russian President Vladimir Putin made a speech at the ceremony. After his speech was over, art performances were given by art groups of different countries, including Russia, Belarus, India, and China. Before the ceremony, President Putin looked for the successes of special forest and met with participants in the festival. The daily rodent soon moon on the 8th, carried in the country under the title, the Korean women are the powerful force, giving a boost to prosperity and development of the country with their strong spirit and devoted efforts on the occasion of the 114th anniversary of the March 8th International Women's Day. Organizations of various tribes in the Prophet Republic of Korea held a ceremony around the U.S. Embassy in Seoul on the 4th to declare the period of intense struggle against the United States, war, and Yun Seo-gyeol. Addressing the ceremony, the speakers announced Yun Seo-gyeol for aggravating the military tension by seizing large-scale nuclear war theories with the United States and shipping U.S. nuclear strategic weapons. A statement was read out. The statement laid there that the source of war crisis of March lies in the hostile policy of the United States and the Soviet toward the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. It made clear that the period from the 4th to the 30th will be set as a period of intensive struggle, and all people of different circles will fight with concerted efforts to stop the aggressive military careers inviting a nuclear war and impeach the Soviet. The participants in the ceremony got the struggle against the United States, war, and the Soviet. And that's the end of the news, brought by Chai Yun Yang and Ma Zong Sang, the voice of Korea. Here is the more solo in downtown. Oh, tender-hearted elder. <laughs>
的是天主的安排。
We do not travel from the borders of the country. Very much of the shape that cover is very beautiful. However, our white counterparts, if you are not with us here, they can still be a place of our country. We mean our channel forward, flowers of the country. <laughs>